Did you watch the ESPN um, 30 for 30 on sneakers? No. You know what I'm talking about? No, I know they're doing one on Jordan right now with the sneakers. They're filming that now because somebody reached out to me. Yeah. Basically, it was the guy at Nike who sort of created the whole thing of, okay, well, we can't pay college athletes oh, to Sonny wear Vicar sneakers. Sonny Vaccaro, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. That guy. Sonny yeah. Vaccaro was legendary for just basketball players in general. Right. I don't give Sonny Vaccaro any kind of sneaker credit whatsoever, but they do, I guess. But, but he, he was the one that actually was responsible for seeding all these sneakers. Oh, okay. Well, the way that they, okay. Well, yeah. if they give him credit for that, so be it. Fine. But Sonny yeah. Vaccaro was amazing at what he did. Interesting story. You should watch it. Because because that, that, actually, like, like the, the coolest part about it was, um, I guess that LeBron was supposed to go to Adidas, mm -hmm. right? And he, I think, even moved to like, you know, um, to Cleveland to be next to LeBron's family and was very cool with his mom and you know they had a lot of different meetings and, and so forth and his thing was he told LeBron that he told LeBron's mom that your son is worth a hundred million in a shoe deal and he said this is what Adidas is going to give him so they did this whole big thing you know they ran this big mansion out and they had all these girls and whatever else and then you know they're going to present the the contract you know to LeBron and then when he flipped the contract over, it said seventy million instead of a hundred million. And there was a few like things in there where he could could go there, but basically everything he told LeBron, Adi someone Adidas went back and and basically felt like that was too much money, and they changed the terms. LeBron ended up going to Nike. Who well, gave I'm him like, like a ninety million dollar deal with Nike. Or something it was like, like a that, ninety million it? dollar yeah. deal. Yeah, it wasn't even a hundred million over there. Mm -hmm. But I mean, but they if they brought the hundred million, LeBron had the closer relationship to Adidas. And he was going to sign. Yeah. And, I mean, everybody and, said uh, rumor has it Jordan almost left Nike after the Jordan 2. Oh, really? Yeah. And then Ticket came with the 3. Yeah. And then it was over. History. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's weird. I mean, if that's an actual fact, I don't know if it is or not, but I mean, with the, with the, with the, with the um, you know, with the, with the Jordan thing, but everybody, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's just, I look at Sonny Vaccaro as a basketball wizard because everybody loved him and, and he realized that if you're not going to go to college as well, and you got to have that year of eligibility, we're going to send you overseas to play like he did yeah. with uh, like he did with Homeboy, the kid that played for Milwaukee. He did that with him, and you know what I'm saying like so he's 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 great at what he does. I didn't know that he was responsible for that, and I guess you got to tip your hat off for that. I mean, it works. Hey, it goes back to it goes back to Run DMC and my Adidas. I did a I'm in a documentary called Fresh Dressed that just uh, they just they just had the trail out for, and I was talking about. Uh, how we in the industry give Run DMC credit for, you know, the whole My Adidas thing and blah, blah, blah. You know who I want to see? I want to talk to the guy that actually okayed the deal. Where is he now? Where? How far up the food chain did he go? How far up the food chain did the guy go to say, hey, let's give Run DMC this deal? Let's give him this marketing deal or this advertisement deal or let's, 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 let's have them be brand ambassadors. Mm -hmm. I want to know where his career went. Because we give the credit to the rapper for doing it, but at the end of the day, if the big machine doesn't pull the trigger, it doesn't happen. Sure. Same token as he can say that. He can say Calvin Klein, no friend of mine, no one nobody name on my behind. Yeah. We ain't look at Calvin Klein. Dope brand. We all wore it growing up. Yeah. It was, that was our expensive brand growing up. We didn't look at it, though. We looked at my Adidas. Yeah. So I want to know where that guy went. Like, forget Run DMC. We know what happened there. I want to know what happened to the guy that put that deal together. How far up the food chain did he go? Yeah. For doing one of the best historical things in sneakers ever. You never wanted to join... You know, I mean, because you talk about all your connections to Nike, you know, Adidas and so forth. You never actually wanted to join any of these companies as an employee of no, one of these companies? they can't pay me enough. Is that what it is? They couldn't pay me enough. I'd rather work with them than for them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, throw a ballpark number out there. I'd rather charge you 5000 to borrow my shoes six times a year than you pay me 70000 a year and slave me to death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To have me going crazy like... Like, you know, have me coming to work every day. Five, I'm sounding like Dame Dash now. <laughs> have me coming to work every day, five days a week, and all this traveling and blah, blah, blah. Where I could do, I could make 30000 with this brand. I could be a brand ambassador for that brand for 20000 I could design bags and make forty to $60,000 a year in royalties. I'm at 120 right there without sneezing. Yeah. So why go work for 70000 a year, 80000 a year, maybe 90000 a year, where I got to put that in. And it might be my passion, but there's more to that than we see. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't be a designer. I didn't go to college to be a designer. Yeah. But in the same token, I've colored shoes. 
I didn't go to school to be a colorist, but I designed a bag from scratch where I sold over 25,000 bags already. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I've done that. I've mocked up shoes. I've colored shoes. I've put designs on shoes. Again, I'm not a colorist or a designer, though. I didn't go to school for that, but I could make me some bread doing it. Right. So, you know, why not go? I could, you know, my quote, the whole show is, is not cheap either. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I host a sneaker show, may I, if, I, if I'm at a sneaker show, I got to check. Right. Whether I'm doing a walkthrough, if I'm at your sneaker show, I got paid to be there. We give or take a few. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give or take a few. I'm paid to walk in that door. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I turned my, I turned my passion into a little hustle. Mm-hmm. On top of having a regular nine to five. You know what I'm saying? So, I love that. So I wouldn't work for a brand. I like working with them. The consultant aspect works for me. The marketing agency works for me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I feel if it. I could do something super cool for Puma and still wear all my Air Force Ones every day or all my Jordans or all my LeBrons every day, I love that. Mm-hmm. If I could do something for Adidas and still wear my Pumas, I love that. Right. Speaking of special shoes that nobody has. This is a one of one, New York Yankee Air Force One. Last time the Yankees won the championship, 27th championship. Woo! Number 27, this was made in the Nike kitchen. DBs, they're so unique and the story behind them, that's the main thing, the story behind the dome of the kid that designed them, time and effort, the way they release is pretty interesting. So 